Hello and welcome. My name is Julie and this is Stamp with Julie Baum. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up and I'm here today with the next episode of Simply Saturday where I get to show you a card that is fast and easy to make. We are going to be making a card that I consider um, fall looking, although it doesn't have to land here in fall only, um, but I like this copper color and this pretty peacock color together. Actually, this paper was introduced a year ago and um, was available. The name of it is Oxidized Copper 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. And I happen to notice that it is still available. Now, this is September of 2024. That paper at the time of this recording is still available as well as the stamp set that we'll be using. Let me show it to you, Autumn Leaves. Uh, there is another beautiful fall leaf stamp set that is available as well and they're kind of similar so it might just depend on what catches your eye or perhaps what the sayings are inside um, the stamp set to help you determine but anyway I already had this and I already had the paper and I wanted to pull them out and do a card for you today and then if you get really excited about it I'm happy to let you know that those products are still available so the card base today is pretty peacock cardstock and our card is going to go this way so this is four and a quarter inches by 11 inches and I have scored and folded it at five and a half inches then I have a piece of white cardstock this is going to go on the inside this is four inches by five and a quarter inches if you use Julie's layering templates this is a template number two size all right, then I have two pieces that actually measure the same. These are four inches. I'm just double checking as I say it. These each are four inches by two and a half inches. So it's a piece of my designer series paper and a piece of white cardstock. All right, then I have another piece of the Pretty Peacock. And um, this piece is three quarters of an inch wide. And this is going to be a belly band that goes around the corner, goes around the card. And so this is about nine and a half inches. That might be a little extra. We might trim it down. But if you start with a piece that's nine and a half inches, you will be fine. Then as a little accent piece, this is um, four inches and it's by a half inch wide. All right. So those are our pieces. Those are our measurements. And let's do a little bit of stamping. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp that large white piece that is going on the inside of the card. All right, I've got some scratch paper here because I am going to be doing some stamping off. And I am beginning with Pretty Peacock. Now this is one of those stamp sets that is considered a two-step stamp set simply meaning that you're going to be able to put one image directly on top of the other image to create the look. So in this case, that's how we're gonna make our leaves. So I am gonna start with this leaf stamp and my Pretty Peacock, and I want a lighter version of the Pretty Peacock ink. So this is where I'm going to stamp it off onto my scratch paper first, and then I'm going to scratch, stamp it on the Oh, look, I just got ink on me from opening the ink pad and put a nice little smudge there on my white cardstock. So let me clean that up, flip this over. Nobody is going to know. Uh -huh. And this is where our ink is going to go anyway. Wow, that was a blue blurb, wasn't it? Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put two leaves on here where I was only gonna put one, but we wanna cover that little ink spot there, that smudge. I will make a second one, stamping my ink off first and then up this way. All right, I'm going to take a second and make sure that I've got that ink cleaned off of my fingers so that I don't do that again. All right, so I just used my Simply Chamois to do that. I also am going to reach for one of these little alcohol prep pads to make sure that I got the ink off of my fingers. It happens. Okay, let's continue. Now I'm gonna take the stamp that creates the rest of the leaf image, and that is this one. It's got the little veins of the leaf. So I'm going to go back into 
my Pretty Peacock ink and this time just use it full strength. I'm not stamping any of that ink off. And I'm gonna line it up once on this leaf and the second time on this one. And you can see just how gorgeous the leaf images are, so beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna put that ink aside and open up my copper clay. And I'm going to use the words from that stamp set that says, I'm thankful. We'll start with that and the copper clay ink. And then right below that, I'm going to add the words that say to have you as a friend. I think that's so sweet. And we do think of our friends kind of extra specially at Thanksgiving time of year. All right, so that's the inside of the card. I am gonna make some little speckles though. You can see on my scratch paper, I've got some speckles because I've done this um, a time or two before today. And I chose the um, Light Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Blend to do this. Now, I could have picked um, either, actually, do we have a copper clay? I don't think there's a copper clay Stampin' Blend. So scratch that. Um, and there is a pretty peacock stampin blend so i could have used one of those but i kind of felt like this purple lent itself to the copper color and the blue and it's going to be very very delicate anyway so it's not going to scream a purple i'm just going to use the lid of my stampin blend and the brush marker end and i'm just going to flick it like so leaving some lovely little splatters and then I want some up in this top corner. So I'm gonna turn my paper around and put some flecks right there. And that's all I want on the inside. We're gonna do the same little splatter method on the front of the card, as you'll see. Okay, let's put this on the inside. There's our little back side of that piece that had the pretty peacock smudge from my finger. Let's go ahead and put our green glue, liquid glue, onto the back of this, and we're gonna add it to the inside of the card. I should have opened this before I put my glue on. Kinda had a hard time getting a hold of it. All right, so this is gonna go on the inside I remember last year when this color combination came out in this paper, um, kind of being surprised that copper and blue were considered fall, because um, that's the time of year that it was released, and yet I've really fallen in love with it. They also um, teamed it up with some of those purple colors, and it's actually very pretty for fall instead of always having to go with red, gold, and green. Okay, for the front of the card, I'll show you where this beautiful designer series paper is gonna go. It's gonna go down here. We're gonna take this white piece and do some simple stamping on it, and it's gonna go here, and then we're gonna finish it with a belly band that goes across the middle. So let's go ahead and continue stamping since we've got our ink and our stamps out. I'm just gonna lay this under here as my scratch paper, and I'm going to start with this large leaf and my copper clay. And then I'm going to stamp that leaf off. So I'm getting the second generation or the lighter version of this ink color. And I'm gonna put it right here in the top left corner of my white piece. Then I'll take this detail stamp that goes with it and drop in the veins of the leaf and really makes it pop. Ah, lovely. All right, and then let's go back to the other leaf and Pretty Peacock. This is the one we used in the beginning. And I will stamp this off and then we'll do one. Let's go down at this angle and let's do a second one, ink it, stamp it off, 
and um, I feel I'm, I don't feel confident about how that is going to come out. So I'm going to re-ink. I'm going to stamp it off again with a little bit more care to do it nice and even. There we go. And then onto my card. It just felt like maybe I didn't do it um, with enough care and then this image wouldn't have turned out so good. So there, I'm glad I fixed whatever felt funky. All right, and then let's put the veins of that in there. I just feel like with two-step stamping, you get such lovely detailed images with such little effort. That is just gorgeous to me. Okay, let's add some words. And I really struggled with what color to use for this because I was just worried that the copper clay wouldn't stand out enough and I was worried that I was gonna have too much blue. So honestly, I went to just the basics and went with my Memento Tuxedo Black. All right, so kind of using my black as just a neutral that is gonna blend with this. And I will tell you another thing. I recently re-inked this ink pad and it's very inky. And if you can see the script of this stamp, let me show it to you on the cover of the stamp set, um, is very fine. It's like a very fine pen. And so because this is super inky, I already know that if I stamp it right from the ink pad, it's gonna kind of bleed and look blurry. So I don't typically do this with black, but I'm gonna stamp my black ink off. See how it kind of looks blurry? And then I'm gonna stamp it onto my card and I am going to let it settle a moment on the card before I lift up my stamp. Since I took so much of the ink off, I wanna make sure that the remaining ink that's on my stamp has a moment to soak into the surface of the cardstock. All right, let's see what we ended up with. So, <laughs> after all that explanation, it's not the greatest. However, I do have a second card that this is a little bit better. I still feel more confident in using that version where it was real blurry. So we're going to leave it, but I will show you another one that is closer to perfect where this one is a little light now that we did that. Okay, back to that stamp and blend. We're gonna put some light speckles onto this. And it's kind of interesting when you do this little splatter technique because the speckles don't go I think, right where you expect them to. So you kind of have to fiddle with it to see where the splatters are ending up. There we go. All right, so I've got my light speckle there. All right, let's keep going and put the card together. Uh, back to the card base and the designer series paper. Here we go. This is one of the very, one of the very, very, very few times that any of the paper that is offered doesn't have a backside, and that's just because of the specialty nature of this oxidized copper paper. So that's kind of surprising when you turn it over and you're not actually putting glue on a pattern. All right, so that is in place. Then we'll take this one and put it in place. like so. Now, if you are liking this color combination or are a little bit intrigued by it, I have another video that I'm going to post and I will put a link for that video here so that you can find it easily. And it's the same concept of this card with a belly band, but it is a gift card holder. I have several to show you, but I am going to, in the tutorial, make one with this color combination for you. So like I said, you may want to switch right over to that after watching this video. All right, I'm gonna take my belly band. I'm just going to lay it on the card where I want it to go, kind of centered side to side, and then I will go ahead and bend that 
and I'll bend this side. In doing the belly band this way, you create a snug but not overly tight belly band. I find that if on a belly band, if I pre-measure and then make score marks where they're supposed to bend, it just doesn't come out right. It's always a little bit off. And so this is nice. You just wrap it and bend it. Then you know that your um, folds or your bend in the belly band are exactly where they're going to need to be. All right, this is gonna crisscross in the back like that. And you've got a little extra there, but not too much. So <clears throat> I'm glad we started with that length for our band. All right, I'm going to, this is how I do a belly band. With it in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue here where I know it's gonna overlap, and some glue here where I know it's gonna overlap. And then I'm going to stick it down, but not press it down tight quite yet. So I'm just gonna stick it down, just enough for it to hold, and I'm gonna slide my card out of it. The reason I do this is if by chance there's any of that glue that might be wanting to ooze out, I don't want it to glue onto here and then be stuck to the back of my card. So I like to pull the band out. I'll actually take that little scrap paper and just fold it tuck it inside here and now I will finish lining this up and press it. Now I can really press it. If any tiny little bit of glue was to ooze out, it's just going to go onto this scratch paper now and not onto my card. All right, there is our belly band. So let's go ahead and slide that onto the card right in place where it goes. And it's nice and snug, but not too tight. Not too tight, not too loose. It's a Goldilocks fit. All right, this little strip is gonna look nice as an accent here, picking up the copper color and also mimicking the second paper in that packet. All right, so there is the little accent piece on the band. And there we have it. Now, I think for this card, it's beautiful as it is. If you imagine that you would want to add any embellishments, you certainly could. You could add some ribbon or trim, or you could add some gems or sequins, um, rhinestones. But I really like the elegance of the shiny paper to just be enough. So that is our card. Let me slide that belly band off for you, show you the inside one more time. And that is our tutorial for the day. Please flip over and check out that gift card holder that I'm going to show you that uses this same color scheme and um, will inspire you, especially at this time of year. We're heading into the holiday season and I know that you are probably going to be thinking about giving gift cards and this is a cute um, and clever way to package that gift card. So until next time, happy stamping.